there was a huge yet invisible problem with switch skills in Rise. And to see if this problem will harm the quality of Sunbreak as well, we first need to understand just what it is. Switch skills are one of the most brilliant additions to any Monster Hunter game. In a game all about selecting a weapon that really fits your playstyle and then mastering it, the addition of interchangeable moves to those weapons just feels obvious. As a result, I really wouldn't be surprised if they returned to the next game after Rise. Back to Rise though, the switch skills added to the game were great for the most part. They rarely conflict with the playstyle of the weapon. Piercing Bind, for example, does bonus damage depending on how many times you hit the monster, perfect for a weapon like Dual Blades which focuses on all-out offense. Demon Flight is a skill that acts almost like an aerial style from Generations. It sends you flying into the air when you land a hit, which again is perfect for a weapon that's had this spinning attack since ledges were introduced to the series. Rage Slash on Greatsword is equally natural in its implementation. A weapon that's all about positioning and waiting for just the right moment to strike gains an ability that allows you to deal extra damage if you get hit while you charge. A move that rewards you for being in the right place at the right time flows perfectly with this weapon's playstyle. But I did say that there's a problem here, and it's a problem that even I didn't realize until I played Sunbreak. I'll list off some switch skills as examples, and you'll likely be able to see the problem pretty quickly. Drawn Double Slash is basically just an upgrade of the default attack. I mean, sure, it's a bit weaker, but does that really matter when it's twice as fast, fills more spirit gauge, and allows you to go into a counter significantly faster than the default version? This move really is just a direct upgrade. A less egregious example of this is the Tower Vault on the Dual Blades. There's really no reason to use this move unless you're going for a super specific aerial-only style. Which isn't bad, mind you, but you're missing out on a ton of DPS by replacing Piercing Bind, and as a result, the hunts are going to take significantly longer. While the switch skills are mostly balanced, there are some exceptions that are either obsolete or just too niche to really make sense. But why exactly is this an invisible problem? Because you can just, well, ignore it. It's not that I didn't notice some switch skills were better than others, more that I just realized what was better and used that. Granted, there's nothing wrong with using these super niche skills. If you want to build a set straight out of Attack on Titan, you can do that. It's just a shame that to do so, you have to sacrifice damage. In an ideal world, we'd have a game where you can play however you want and not suffer a damage penalty as well. Hello there. It wasn't until the Sunbreak demo where I was given the chance to use these different skills that I realized how much of a shame it was that they were so underwhelming in the base game. And that's exactly how Sunbreak solved this problem. They simply allowed the player to use both. See, here's why switch skill swap is so brilliant. Look at Aerial Dual Blades. You lose Piercing Bind when you use this setup in favor of the weaker, more over-the-top vault. But with switch skill swap, you can now have an entire set dedicated exclusively to aerial attacks and a second set dedicated to DPS. Compressed Finishing Discharge was a fantastic move in base rise, but it wasn't as strong as regular Finishing Discharge, and it doesn't combo with Soaring Wyvern Blade, but it's a safer, more consistent option. I generally use it on solo hunts against monsters like Emergency Apexes, because latching onto them with Finishing Discharge just isn't safe. However, with Switch Skill Swap, you can blend both of these styles at once. If the monster is rampaging and it's a bit too risky to latch on, you can just use Compressed Finishing Discharge, while if it's tired or downed, you can use the default finishing discharge. Thanks to switch skill swap, we can use these moves that were just a bit too weak or too specialized, and as a result, we'll get to experience some of the most personalized hunts we've ever seen in a Monster Hunter game. But there's one more thing that'll make Sunbreak special, and that's what this video is about. 